Hi again, everyone. This is our special pre-election edition of Comcast Newsmakers. We're talking to folks uh, in and around all of our local communities and some of the names and faces that you should associate when you look at your ballot. We're going to travel to Los Altos Hills for a few moments and uh, one of the people running for office in Los Altos Hills this time around is Ginger Summit and Ginger is a first time candidate for public office. She's running for town council. Welcome. And yes. I'm so happy that you came here today and also uh, we always thank our first time participants in the elective process because it's it's not an easy thing and uh, no, and bless your heart for doing that. So thank you. How wonderful for you. to have an opportunity. You were telling me that you have been involved in the town for a number of years and it's not as if you haven't been paying attention but finally you've decided that it's time to be in office. Right. I've been a resident in Los Altos Hills for over 40 years and even though I've worked and raised a family, um, I was a teacher for uh, 21 years and um, I was also a volunteer in both Los Altos Hills and also the neighboring communities for most of that time. So I've been very aware of all of the issues that are both past, present, and coming up facing us in the future. So you've been uh, participating and often quietly sitting by until this one issue has gotten you very interested in being uh, somebody who can who can do something to make a change or not make one and I'm talking about the West Wind Barn controversy. Yes, uh, actually there are several issues but West Wind Barn is one of them and it's something that I feel very strongly about. It was a property that was given to the town in the 1970s. It is a barn that holds uh, 30 horses or more and there it's right next to a very large um, Burn Preserve, which is 72 acre park. And because our town is very small, we don't have a recreation center, and there are many, many town activities that are focused in um, and around West Wind Barn. It's a beautiful, beautiful facility, but unfortunately, over the years, it has become somewhat run down and it needs um, uh, refurbishment. And so now uh, the, the current town council has agreed to a matching fund program with volunteer donors and we're hoping to restore the barn to its former elegance and make it again a centerpiece that the town can rightly be proud of. It's, it's a unique facility and it makes us really um, have something that we can contribute to the neighboring community as well as for our own residents. Okay, and as you were saying that there is a, a significant amount of funding in place to do this, but some people are opposed to it because they would rather sell the land. Well, it's in a valuable area, uh, as the whole Bay Area, resi as residents in the entire Bay Area know, uh, real estate is, is very valuable. And people are questioning, is this the wisest use of this area? And um, just because of its unique character and its setting, it's close to open space areas and um, horses and uh, the equestrian um, uh, habits have been a part of our town since it's our founding and, and long before and there are many of us who feel this is part of our heritage not only to preserve for now but for the future generations. I know that as a longtime teacher the other issue you're very passionate about has to do with education. Yes. Uh, we have uh, had several public schools in Los Altos Hills that have closed over the past many years just because of attrition, ch families growing up, children moving out. Two of those have been turned into private schools and then our last remaining public school was closed several years ago and so families who still wanted to have a good option for their children uh, formed a uh, charter school. Now, uh, after a lot of negotiating with the Los Altos School District, we've reopened the uh, Bull uh, Gardner Bullis mm -hmm. Public School that's just opened in September. I would like very much for that to succeed, but I also want to find a permanent home and a successful place for the charter school because they've worked so hard. Thank you so much. Believe it or not, we're out of time. For more, go to Ginger's website that you've seen, and we'll have more for you later on Comcast Newsmakers. This is Ginger Summit. Thank you.